YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I wanna say that I am filming this on the morning that I posted the video about the Breville Tea Maker and the price dilemma that I had with that. And I asked you guys to comment in that comment section and let me know what you would have done and boy, are you doing that. I don't think I've had so many comments, especially so quickly on a video. And I really appreciate that, so thank you so much. I don't know that I'm gonna to get to um, comment on all of them and I'm because there are so many and it takes a lot of time to do that but I am reading all of them and I'll comment on some of them the rest I may just say thank you because some of them I don't even know what to say unless I go into a whole you know paragraph or something about it and that will take way too long um, but I really appreciate that you're commenting on that and thank you and I am enjoying my first cup of tea here from my Breville tea maker. I used it this morning and it was really fun to watch the basket go up and down on its own. It's a very cool little machine. Um, okay, let's get into this video. So I unboxed the other day this Louis Vuitton heart coin purse. I still have the tag on it from Yugi's Closet. And I have the tag on it because I said in that video that I'm not sure if I want to keep it. I have not looked at this, I haven't pulled it out of the dust bag since I did that video and I filmed that about a week ago. And the reason is I wanted to film this video before I make a decision about whether to keep it. A lot of you made good points in the comments section on that video that it's such a rare piece and it's really pretty so I should keep it because of that and it's in great shape. Um, and some of you also were saying that you would like one. The hearts, the heart coins are pretty easy to find on the pre-loved market. If you look at, not the real real so much, I don't see them there very often, but you do see them on Fashion File, you see them at Yugi's Closet, you see them on Tradez. I have all my favorite pre-loved sites listed in the description box below if you want to check those out. Um, I'm sure eBay has them. I don't shop eBay very often, but yeah, you can find these. Finding the stripes will be more difficult. Maybe finding a particular color would be more difficult. But what I want to do in this video today is play around with this um, for the first time for myself and I want to do it with you so you can see some of the ideas. Play around with this and see how I could wear it. And if you have other ideas that I don't cover or you see something here that you like or don't like, let me know in the description. No, no, no. Let me know in the comments section below um, especially if you have other ideas that I didn't think about today. So the first thing I want to do is compare it just really quickly with a couple of items. Oh, and I wanted to measure it for you because this is not an item you can find in stores. It's been discontinued for a while. It's just over four inches wide there. And then I'm going to put that right there at the top of the heart. So there it's just under four inches. Um, long so it's about four by four inches approximately. I also wanted to show it to you next to a couple of items that you might be more familiar with so it's about the same size as the round coin purse and then I wanted to show it to you next to the mini pochette because a lot of you have that piece so it's smaller than the pochette it's about the same height but obviously the pochette width is longer and then also with the pochette accessoire and I wanted to see if that would fit in here. I'm sure it will. Yeah, that fits in there very easily. So just in case you're wondering and that helps give you a little bit of a um, an idea of the size of it because it's not something you can find in the stores. Like I said, it's been discontinued. So yeah. Um, I just want to try to help you out if you're thinking about getting one since you can't look at them in person, you have to buy one to play with it and then figure out whether you want to keep it, which is what I'm doing. So it has this chain and let me measure the chain on that for you. I'm going to measure, what I like to do is measure from the top inside of the hook there, because if you've got it hanging on something, that would be the length. So this is, I'm going to turn it around here. That's about nine inches from the inside of the clip to the heart. And then if you clip it to itself, to the D-ring there, that drop would be, should be about half of that. Um, 
yeah, it's almost four and a half inches there. All right, I have behind me several bags that I pulled that are different sizes and shapes. And I also have the three different canvases represented and I have a bag in the Noir Black Epi. I thought that would be helpful to see the heart, the size and the colors, the Amarant or Amarante. Somebody told me, a couple of people told me how to say that and I've forgotten now. So I thought it would be helpful to show you this size wise and color wise up against the different canvases and different size bags. And I'm gonna try to hang it because I really want to use this as a bag charm. Some people said it's too big for that. Personally, I don't think that. It, it depends on the bag that you're using it on, I guess. Um, you could also clip it to your belt and put it in your pocket. That's not something I would do because um, that would be too bulky for me to have in my pocket. But anyway, let's start looking at the bags and see how they look. And I pulled some bags that I thought were pretty popular so that you can get a sense of uh, how they look, how the heart looks on these. So the first bag I'll show you is the Petite Noe. This is a vintage bag in black epi leather. And I don't have the drawstring on it because I don't keep it stored with the drawstring. But the way I see it, you can just use the clip and have it hang or use the clip and clip it to itself to have it be shorter. So if I clip this, and just have it hanging like that, then it hangs off the side of the bag. And that could be really cute if you're wearing the bag on, the on your shoulder and it would be swinging around. That's nice. And here's how the Amarant or Amarante looks against the black Epi. I think it looks shinier on the film here because I have lights on it. In person, it's, it's darker like that kind of looks but then when I have the lights, it looks a lot brighter. Um, maybe if you have it in the sun, it would look like that, but in person, it's a pretty dark colored piece. So that's how it looks hanging like that. And let me clip it to itself and show you. So this clip does fit right through. Oh, this is interesting. So this is a problem I didn't think about that I'm gonna run into here. I was thinking I'd be able to just run this chain through, am I showing you that? Through the D-ring, but because it has this heart charm hanging from it, that actually gets in the way. So, I can run the chain through, and then let's see if I can even get the heart through there. That's a pretty big opening, and it does not wanna go. Yeah, that heart is just not fitting through there, so I would not be able to do that. So what I was trying to do was to get it to hang like this. What I could do is attach a clip to it without damaging this piece and hang it like that where it hangs shorter. Let me turn that around so you don't have the Yugi's Closet tag hanging there. So I could hang it there and it would be shorter and that works. But I'd have to attach a clip to it see if I can find something. Hold on. Okay, I just went in my closet and I pulled this bag charm out. I'm just going to take this round clip off and put it on here and then I can use it to hang it from any bag. So that's how that looks. That's an easy solution and I'm sure you can find those clips online somewhere and buy them on Etsy or something. So that works, that's easy. Okay, next I'm gonna pull a Speedy 30. This one's in Damier Eben. Here is how the Amarant looks against the Damier Eben. So that looks nice. And let me do, since I have this round clip on here, I'll just do that first. Hang it like that. That works, I think. It's not too long. I don't think I could hang this by itself from its own D-ring because it would be way too long for that. I'm going to leave that round thing on there just to make this a little easier and faster for myself. So that's how it would look hanging off the Speedy 30. Too long it would get um, knocked around and maybe damaged in my opinion. 
What I was hoping to do here before I realize the heart gets in the way is to run the chain through the loops where it would be like this and make it a little shorter. Does that make sense? And I guess I could take that O-ring and clip it like that, but I really like the first option better where I just clip it, the O-ring and, and the chain is um, folded in half. I was gonna do the same thing with my Turen MM where I ran it through the two chains on the side here where it would hang like that. So that would be kind of cute. But since that won't work with the heart in the way, let me fold this in, oh well, before I do, that's, that's how long it is on the Turen MM, so that doesn't work for me. So the solution here is to hang it from the O-ring with the chain clipped to itself. And of course the thing about this and the thing about the round coin is that the chains make them hang sideways if you use as, as bag charms, which is kind of annoying. But that's how it looks. That's also how this Amarant looks on the monogram. I think that's my least favorite combination so far. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I think it looks better in person than on the camera, actually. And I'm thinking on a bigger bag, here's my delightful PM. This is the original model, old model. I'm thinking on these bigger bags, I have this on a Neverfull to show you next, that having the chain extended all the way would work well. So this one, although I already see a problem with that too, so hold on. <laughs> So here it is clipped with the O-ring to the side. That looks like a great length to me. Let me clip the inside of the bag here. This bag always hangs funny. I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with this bag. Um, so that looks nice, I think. Clip it to the side there. And then I was saying that you could probably clip this with the chain extended all the way, but the problem I'm seeing with that already is that the Delightful has these giant O-rings on the side and I don't think this clip, this tiny clip will go over them, but let's see, maybe it will. Nope. So the clip doesn't open far enough. I'm trying to get this where I can show you. Can you see that? The clip doesn't open far enough for that to, to go around the O-ring. So what I would have to do in that case is take this O-ring off and attach that to the clip here, like that, and then attach the O-ring, and that makes the, the piece even longer. And that I think still looks good, although I probably, I like it shorter, I like it on the shorter length that I had it a minute ago. So far I'm only liking the really long chain on that Black Epi Petite Noe. Okay, now I have a Neverfull to show you. I grabbed my Azure one so you could see this print, the colors against the Azure. I was thinking this was gonna be the prettiest one and I really do like that a lot. I think that's lovely. So let's clip it on, try I have a couple different ideas here for this one. Now you could clip it from the straps here. I usually hang bag charms from the D-rings because I don't like putting metal against the Vachetta because you can get some uh, just dirt and wear and stuff and I don't want to scratch it. So that clip is a little small to put over those rings. So I just attach the clip to my O-ring here and then I can t attach the O-ring to the strap. That's much easier. That I wouldn't have a problem doing that's not gonna scratch the strap. So that hangs pretty long. I probably would not do it that way. And here's how it would look if I hung it from the bag charm. That's way too, I mean, from the D-ring, that's way too long. Let me take the O-ring off and just use the regular clip because there's no reason to use the O-ring on that little D-ring. So that's how it looks hanging off the Neverfull from that D-ring looks okay, but I think it's going to look best attached to itself with the little o-ring clip 
and then clipped on to the side like that. I think that length is the best for this bag. And then I'll also show you with that half length chain, how it looks clipped to the strap here. And actually that's probably my favorite way to wear that. I think the bag charms look best hanging from this, uh, from the strap on the Neverfulls. I just, for the reasons I said, don't like putting them on the leather straps uh, just for wear. So the last um, idea that I have on the Neverfull here is if I cinch the bag, which is not something I do often, and you definitely don't want to keep them stored cinched because they can, um, that can crack the vachetta around the top edges here, kind of folds it and it's not good to keep it that way over time. I think it's fine to wear it that way every once in a while but probably not every day and definitely not stored that way. So let me cinch this bag up. Okay, so this is how the Neverfull looks cinched like that. And I think a cute thing to do on it would be to take the O-ring and attach it to the two D-rings. Let me do it and then show you. So like that, you see how I have it run through both of the D-rings there? And that'll help keep it cinched because sometimes these slides will just slide down and it comes uncinched. So I think that's cute. And then on the other side, you could take a Louis Vuitton lock and lock those together. I've seen a lot of people do that. Or you could tie the D-rings together with a little scarf, a twilly or something, bandeau. So that could be cute too. All right, well, those are the ideas that I had. Um, they're, you know, not that adventurous, but at least you learned with me about the heart not fitting through things. So in order to f make this charm, um, or make this coin purse shorter as a charm, where it doesn't hang so long on bags, you need uh, an o-ring or some other kind of clip like this that you can add to it to hang it from the middle there rather than just from the end. So that's something we learned together. That's helpful, I think. All right, yeah, that's what I have to show you. So if you have any ideas that you want me to try out or um, any questions about the piece or anything, I can still do a review on it and a what fits and that sort of thing, but this was just about how to wear it. So if you have anything you want to say about that, let me know in the comment section. If you have an idea that I could try out and take a picture of it, I could put that on my Instagram. Let me know about that and I could do that too. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to click the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and the bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. Bye.